Okay, we're going to find out all the trig values in between of 0 to 2 pi so that cosine theta is equal to 0. So, keep in mind, whenever you have cosine theta by itself already, if the right hand side is equal to 0, 1, or negative 1, you know the reference triangle wouldn't work, alright? So, you have to utilize the idea of the unit circle. So, on the unit circle, remember, cosine is just going to be the x value. Cosine is the x value on the unit circle, sine is the y value on the unit circle. So, right here, I'm just going to draw the unit circle for you guys. Right? So, this is my unit circle right here. The radius is equal to 1. So, from here, you know you are looking for x is equal to 0. That means I'm looking at this point, right? Because at this point, we have 0, 1. That's the x value. And we pretty much know what the answer is already because this right here is the 0 radians. This right here is the pi over 2, the 90 degrees pi over 2 radians. This right here is the pi. This right here is the 3 pi over 2, right? So 180, 270. Anyways, um, when you know x is equal to 0, it's right here. That's the first answer. Uh, you just indicate that right here. Theta should be pi over 2. But is there another answer? Yes, because we can have this point here as well. This point on the unit circle, it also has 0 for the x value. This is 0, comma, negative 1. So, you know, we are looking at this point. That means the angle is 3 pi over 2. So that's another one. And that's it. This is all the possible angles that will make cosine equal to 0. And 